I think it's been a nice way of involving a, a lot of other people that normally wouldn't come to a situation like this. Carl Palmer was in Cayman recently to showcase his signature collection of fine art, a collaboration he has created with acclaimed Los Angeles art team, Scene 4. This actually is dedicated to uh, a colleague of mine who I worked with for about 16 years. Um, we were in a group together called Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Unfortunately, he died at the beginning of the year, uh, around about March, March the 11th. And I had a very sort of brief window of time to be able to create something um, to remember him by, basically, um, or a tribute. Mr. Palmer paints what he knows best, his drumming skills, using a combination of light and paint to create the work on display here in Cayman. Special drumsticks were used with LED lights attached in a dark room. This was captured on camera and paint added later to the images created. I decided to try and capture using two digital cameras, different shutter speeds, apertures and all of this that are going on. Um, we have to go through, you know, about sort of eight to ten um, camera positions with the two cameras. Then we'll finally get something that we think will be right. Don't know. <laughs> And then we work on that, and something like that will take about seven to eight hours. And that's without changing any color channels. As you see it, that's how it came out. Um, this one has been embellished. Um, so what I've done, I've added paint to this as well. So this is really a piece of crossover electronic fusion art into the old world of actually using paint and a brush. After decades at the forefront of the music business, Mr. Palmer first spotted the potential of turning music into art in the early days, when he was a member of the psychedelic rock band, The Crazy World of Arthur Brown. So we used a lot of strobe lights, and I do recall when I was 18, I noticed every time my drumstick passed through the air when the strobe lights were on, I'd see this kind of like snap sort of photograph type of shadow thing and I thought well that's sort of interesting and that's what actually led me to the photo that's at the front of the book with the light bulbs and the cable and the battery on the floor because I thought there's something in this. Unlike music, Mr. Palmer firmly believes no matter how hard he tried, he could not recreate the work on canvas. It really is a one-off. There is no formula um, that works every time. so. That particular canvas at the back, if I was to try it again today, using the same colours, the same set, the same cameraman, the same computer to feed it into for me, everything the same, I can't get it. It's given to you. While in Cayman, Mr. Palmer passed on some of his vast musical knowledge to school children, teaching them how to play percussion at the National Gallery of the Cayman Islands. And he believes the best policy is to teach people while they're young. The sooner you start, the sooner your mind opens up and you start to investigate, you get inquisitive, your learning abilities improve in many other things just through playing a musical instrument. He feels exposing them to new technology from an early age will ultimately hit the right note. The exposure to that um, kind of um, art and, and what's going on now in technology as early as you possibly can, it's great, you know. I mean, when I walk through airports and I see little kiddies in, sitting in, in the prams and things being pushed through and they're, they've got a tablet hanging up on the back of the thing and, and they're doing this and they don't know really what they're doing but they're touching the screen and things are moving. It's lovely. I mean, that's the way it should be, really. So whether it's music, painting, photography, or even just playing with a tablet, this rock icon firmly believes when it comes to learning, you're never too young to start. Yeah.